Blogging is a great use of technology that can be used in the classroom. A blog is a regularly updated web page or website, usually run by an individual like a teacher or a small group. They are written in an informal or conversational style. They can range from a class web page, a content-based website, a student blog, websites for student clubs, teams, or projects, or a student newspaper or magazine. This type of technology use is great for older students, usually around junior high to high school age especially, because it's easy for them to access. All it takes is them pulling up a website or app on their phone recommended by their teacher, and then they'll have access to everything that they need to know from their class right at their fingertips. It's also meant to be informal and conversational, so it's easier for those, for those students to understand and their information shouldn't be too hard for them to grasp and shouldn't bog them down. Blogging has many benefits to the teacher. It gives you a place to allow your students to access all of your content. If you have a daily blog, you can publish the material covered in class for the students to be able to see at home. This gives you a place to keep your students updated on any future assignments or anything that they need to be aware of before they come to your class. Blogging allows you and the students to get creative and express themselves. You get to design your blog however you want, so this gives you, your students an insight into your personality and your personal philosophies. The same is true for the students. When they get to blog, they get to express their own individuality to you and their classmates, and this gives them a great way to express themselves. Blogging is also one of the best ways to communica communicate between home and school. It allows the parents to see what's going on in the classroom and keeps them up to date on any new information that they may need to know. This is great because it allows the parents to be aware of any future assignments that are happening in the classroom or it just gives them um, information and insight onto what is being taught in the classroom. Blogging gives students a chance to develop their social skills. Even though it's online, the students are still able to develop these skills. And as educators, it gives us a great way to assess the effective domain of learning. It's a great learning opportunity to teach the students how to express themselves in a polite way online. And the, this can be translated into a grade um, with the effective domain. Blogging is a great way for teachers to get feedback and incorporate reflection into their class. If the students have a blog, they can share and give feedback on lessons that the teacher taught and reflect on what they learned and maybe what they did or didn't like and the teacher can use this information to adapt future lessons and modify any future plans for that class. As an educator there are a few things that you need to consider when it comes to using blogging in the classroom. The first thing is you need to know what type of technology is available to both you and your students. Um, a computer will be necessary to create the blog on some type of website and the students will need some form of technology where they can access this website. Most schools provide um, some type of technology to the students, especially older ages like an iPad or computer that can be used. If this is not available to the students, some may be able to access on their own phone, but if they do not have their own phone or piece of technology to access the information from home, um, a school provided library or computer lab where they are able to have access will be able to view the blog as needed. The main thing that the students will need when it comes to blogging is just their own piece of technology or a borrowed piece of technology that they can use as well as internet access. The students will need internet because this is how they will access the website of the teacher's blog. The teacher also needs to be aware of what students may not have access to internet or technology that way that they can work with their school administrators on making sure that these students have access to the school library 
or school computer lab where they can gain access to this blogging material. They might not be able to access the material for home, but as long as they're able to make it to the computer lab or library where they can view the material of the blog um, and get the information that they need, that way they can receive a grade. When it comes to blogging, there are many different resources that the teacher can use. Some of the most popular options for blogging in the classroom is Weebly, WordPress, Blogger, and Wix. Weebly offers a great way for physical educators to incorporate blogging into their, cl into their classroom. What Weebly is, is a free online website creator that uses just a simple widget based site builder that operates in the web browser. So what the teacher can do is they can personalize their own website um, and all of the elements in this website are drag and drop and then it will automatically generate a mobile version of each website. Um, the storage is unlimited um, but the service does restrict individual file sizes so the teacher will have to make sure that they're monitoring how big the files are that they're placing on the website for the students to view as far as visuals or maybe videos that they want the students to be able to view at home. So physical educators can use a website um, like Weebly to create um, a physical education based website that can utilize um, different information that's covered in PE class as far as body systems or the health related components of fitness anything like that that they can incorporate into the website the students will be able to access so essentially Weebly just creates a way for the teacher to completely 100 percent personalize their website to their liking um, and then the students will have access to that another great feature on Weebly is that it offers an app for both Android and iPhones um, that gives the teacher or website creator um, the access to monitor all the statistics on the website so they can see what students are viewing what material they can update their blog post uh, respond to student comments on the blogs um, as well as just adding or updating any products um, that the teacher has used to submit onto their Weebly website. One example, specific example of how Weebly could be used as a source of technology using blogging in the physical education classroom would be if you just administer the fitness gram um, test to your classroom the students all have their results recorded on paper or something. Um, their assignment could be to go home to the Weebly website that you've already created, that they already have all the information on how to access to, and they need to go input all of their personal um, statistics of the fitness gram test onto the blog uh, using a comment feature on your blog post that only you can see as the teacher. Um, and this is just a way that the students can take what they um, did in class and submit it to you in an online form as the teacher. That way you have an easier way to import these grades and statistics into the gradebook. Another great way that Weebly could be used as a physical educator would be after every lesson or however many lessons you want to divide it up as a teacher, um, you could have the students access your website using Weebly where they have to every day give feedback on what they liked or what they didn't like throughout the lesson. And this is just a great way to help you adapt future lessons and it's a great way for the students to maybe come to you with um, any suggestions on what they might want to participate in in the future, things that um, they may like or didn't like. Overall, blogging is just a great use of technology in the classroom that the students um, are able to access at home or wherever that may be where they have internet access with a piece of technology just to keep the students as well as the parents um, informed on anything that they need to know that's happening in the classroom or any future assignments that they might need to be 
aware of, and it keeps the students up to date on everything that's going on in the classroom and just keeps everyone in the know.